Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of grouping in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG projects, we can group the tests into different categories like a smoke group, sanity group, recreation group, and so on, whatever the groups you want. Okay. Why we have to group? For example, in a particular case, if you want to run only the test related to a particular group, okay, then we can do that. Or out of all the tests, you want to exclude the tests from a particular group. Remaining all the tests need to run except that group of tests. Such kind of facility, if you want, then you have to group the tests, okay, with the help of grouping in test engine. So how to do that? For that, this is a syntax, okay? We have to use this groups attribute and provide the name of the group. Okay, for that particular test in order to categorize that test into a particular group. After that, after that, after grouping the test into multiple categories and all, then in the test change XML file, you have to use these tags like group tag under that run tag. In that, you can include and exclude the groups. Which groups you want to run the test from, which groups you don't want to run the test from, everything you can mention. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID uh, where we have this uh, demo.java. And here two tests are there. Okay, sample test one. When it is executed, this one will be printed. Sample test one is got executed, will be printed. When this uh, sample test two method got executed, sample test two got executed. So besides the other test, I'll I'll just name the groups. Okay. Uh group here we have to give groups is equal to early braces. Mention the name of the group. Okay. I want to categorize this particular test under which group, for example, smoke group. Whereas this particular test, I'll say groups is equal to groups is equal to, and I would like to categorize this uh, test under a different group, let's say, for example, for sample, say sanity, I'll say, okay? Now, save this. For sample, I'm taking only two tests, okay? Now, if I go to the test engine XML file, here we have this sweet test, and uh, you see, demo class is there. There are two tests from the demo class which need to run. Now, what I have to do here is, under the test tag, I have to write like this groups slash groups under that just mention the tag run slash run and here now say include include name is equal to smoke only the test related to smoke group will run okay now i don't want to run the test related to sanity then i'll say exclude one minute include smoke i'll say Flash and here I'll say exclude name is equal to sanity slash done. Okay, that means if I run this test engine.xml file, it will run only the tests which are marked as marked under the group smoke. It will not run the test marked as sanity because we are excluding the test from sanity group. We are including the test from smoke group only. For example, if you create one more test here or two more tests here, otherwise. Let's create like this. This one also smoke, I'll say, and say this one has three. I'll say three here. Here I'll say four. Here four. Now there are four tests. Two tests categorized under smoke category or smoke group. Two tests categorized under sanity. But I'm including to run only the tests from the smoke. So only two tests will run. Other two tests are not going to run, okay? So sanity tests are not going to run, only smoke tests are going to run when I run this test engine XML file. Let's run it. You see test one and test three, which fall into which group? Test one and test three, which fall into which group? Test one falls into the smoke group, okay? Test three also falls into the smoke group. Whatever the test two and test four has not got executed because they fall into the excluding group, that is sanity group. So hope guys, you got the answer for this uh, question. That is, what is the use of grouping? To include or exclude the execution of the test from different groups, we can use grouping of the test in test engine. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.